Hi, how are you? This is Tony again. Today I'm going to walk you through a process of submitting a ticket. You may or may not understand this, but our process is not an automated one. Folks, when you come in, you're likely infected. And so what you want to do is you want to submit a ticket. You do that by coming over here on the left-hand side where it says Malware Removal Request. On the Malware Removal Request, we're going to ask you some very specific information. We're going to ask for what the website is. Then we're going to ask you what the connection type is, FTP, SFTP, or SSH. And then we're going to ask you for the host name of that server, the username, the password, and a description of the problem. You'll then want to come down here and submit request. This is all very important, inf important information. So let's go about figuring out how to get this information. So the website in this instance is going to be my John Hacked website. So let's go to the domain, John hacksite.com there it is and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to the ticket I'm going to submit a malware removal request I'm going to paste that domain in here that's how we're going to start but now the question is what is my FTP information well let's find that this site for me is hosted in Bluehost so I'm going to open up the Bluehost cPanel this is what it looks like you can see cPanel, server, email, website, FTP app, applications, FTP. You can click on the FTP option up here, or you can scroll down and find FTP accounts. Let's go ahead and click this. First thing you're going to do is create a user. In this instance, I'm going to create a quick test account. I'm going to create a password. I'm going to create a directory, and this is I'm going to leave it at the root of John Hack, and I'm going to create the FTP account. What you may want to do is enable JavaScript if you disabled it again. Let me try this one more time. So now here, you'll see that I already have an account created. So goody at John Hack site. I'm going to create a new email the password I'm using a very weak password and I don't recommend this let me try one more time okay let's try that now one thing to be careful about is here. When you create a user test at johnhacksite.com, it's going to create a directory called test. That's where it's going to put the account information for that user. You want to make sure to delete this so that we have access to the site's directory. And we're going to use public HTML, which is default here. Okay. Now, once you create the account, create. It's going to add it down here so that we can access it. If you click on configure FTP client, you'll be able to see all the information that we're requesting. For now, I'm going to copy my password. That's what it was. And I'm going to ver and I'm going to add this information. So I'm going to copy the FTP server into the host name. I'm going to copy the user test at johnhacksite.com to the username directory. And I'm going to come back and get my password. And then what I'm going to say is I'm going to say, hi guys. You want to make sure to be as descriptive as possible. Sometimes when it's spam or say something is not functioning correctly or there's a performance issue, you want to let us know because that's all going to help us better address your problem. Then you're going to submit a request. You'll see a pop-up that says it's been submitted and it's been received with success. And you'll let it go. Now, when you click on Support Home, you'll see that you have an active ticket. You'll see when it was last modified you'll see who responded last and you'll see a reply count. In this instance, you're the only one that's replied. It's being reviewed. It has not been assigned yet. So just be patient. It takes us a few hours in most instances. Just wait and we'll respond to you accordingly.
that's about it if you have any questions please just let us know